Hello everyone, now let us discuss about 2023 ENM coding changes in home or residence services. First, let us discuss what are the 2023 changes. Previously, there were CPTs for domiciliary restroom or custodial care or home care plan oversight services. For new patient, the CPTs were 99324, 325, 326, 327, 328. And for established patient, the CPTs were 99334, 99335, 336, 337. All these CPTs, the listed CPTs here, for new and established patient of domiciliary, restroom or custodian care services have been deleted. And for domiciliary, restroom or custodian care services, new patient, you need to see home or residence services which have been revised. Home or residence services which have been revised that come under the category 99341, 342, 344 and 99345. One more point is one CPT from the home or residence services. The home and resident services CPT 99343 has been deleted. Here you can see there are only 4 CPTs for new patient of home or resident services. 99341, 342, 344 and 45 because 343 has been deleted. That is one more change. And for domiciliary restroom or custodian care services established patient, we need to see the revised home or resident services established patient which come under the category 99347, 348, 349 and 356. One more set of codes that have been deleted are for domiciliary restroom, domiciliary or restroom assisted living or home care plan oversight services. The CPTs are 99939 and 99340. They have been deleted. And for reporting these services, you need to refer, refer 99347, 99491 or principal care management codes 99424 or 99425. So these are the overall changes that have been made. The following CPTs are deleted and the home or resident CPTs have been revised. And 99343 CPT of home or resident services has been deleted. Now coming to home or resident services. The following codes are used to report evaluation and management services provided in home or residence. And home may be defined as private residence, temporary lodging or short term accommodation. For example, hotel, campground, hostel or cruise ship. Any of these places can be considered or defined as home. And these codes are also used when residence is an assisted living facility. These codes are also used when the residence is an assisted living facility, group home that is not licensed as an intermediate care facility for individuals with intellectual disabilities, custodian care facility or residential substance abuse treatment facilities. These places can also use the home or residence codes. And for services in an intermediate care facility, for the services in an intermediate care facility for individuals with intellectual disabilities and services provided in the psychiatric residence treatment center, you need to see the nursing facility services. And when selecting the code level, using time, whenever time is used as the major factor for selecting the code, you should not count the travel time. That is the time to travel from physician's place to the patient's place. You should not count the travel time. When selecting code level using time, you should not count any travel time. And to report services when a patient is admitted to hospital inpatient or observation status or to a nursing facility in the course of an encounter in another setting, See the initial hospital inpatient or observation care or initial nursing facility care services. Now coming to home or residence visit. The various CPTs of new patient for home or residence services are 99341, 342, 
three four four and three four five. Double nine three four three is deleted. And in order to report double nine three four one, straightforward MDM is required. And in order to report double nine three four two, low MDM is required. And in order to report double nine three double four, moderate MDM is required. And in order to report double nine three four five, high complexity MDM is required. Now let us see the individual CPT. Revise the CPT. It is indicated by triangle mark. Double nine three four one. It is used to indicate home or residence visit for the evaluation and management of a new patient. New patient, which requires a medically appropriate history and examination and straightforward medical decision making. So, in order to report double nine three four five, we need straightforward medical decision making and patient must be new. When using total time on the date of encounter for code selection, 15 minutes must be met or exceeded in order to report double nine three four one. In order to report double nine three four one, 15 minutes must be met or exceeded. Next code is double nine three four two. This is also revised code. This is indicated for home or residence visit for the evaluation and management of a new patient, which requires a medically appropriate history and examination. And a low level of MDM, low level of medical decision making. And whenever time is considered for code selection, 30 minutes must be met or exceeded. Low MDM and 30 minutes must be met or exceeded. And or whenever time is considered, 30 minutes must be met or exceeded. Whenever MDM is considered, low level of MDM is required in order to code double nine three four two. The next CPT is double nine three double four. Home or residence visit for the evaluation and management of a new patient, which requires a medically appropriate history and/or examination, and moderate level of medical decision making. In order to report double nine three double four, we require moderate level of medical decision making (MDM). And when using total time on the date of encounter for code selection, 60 minutes must be met or exceeded. In order to report double nine three double four. 60 minutes must be met or exceeded. The next CPT is double nine three four five. It is indicated for home or residence visit for the evaluation and management of a new patient, which requires a medically appropriate history and/or examination and a high level of medical decision making. In order to report double nine three four five, we require high level of MDM. And whenever time is considered, 75 minutes must be met or exceeded. Now let us see an example. Mr. Smith is resident of Hope Rest Home. It is a rest home service. For that also, you need to refer the home and residence services only. And Smith is diabetic and also has hypertension. And the physician visits Mr. Smith for the first time at the rest home. he reviews his medication and provides refills and enforces on medication compliance and the physician performs an expanded problem focused examination and a moderate mdm here patient is new patient the physician is visiting the patient for the first time that is he is considered as new patient and it is a rest home service and mdm is moderate So the appropriate CPT is double nine three double four. Home or residence visit for evaluation and management of a new patient, which requires a medically appropriate history and/or examination, and a moderate level of medical decision making. Now coming to the established patient codes for. Home or residence services. The home or residence services are categorized into new patient and established patient. New patient codes we have discussed earlier. Now coming to established patient codes for home or residence services. There are four CPTs. The first one is double nine three four seven, which requires straightforward MDM. The next is double nine three four eight, which requires low MDM. The next is double nine three four nine, which requires moderate MDM. And finally, double nine three five zero, which requires high complexity of medical decision making mdm four cpts double nine three four seven requires straight forward mdm three four eight requires low mdm three four nine requires moderate mdm and three five zero requires high mdm 
CPTs. Now coming to the individual CPTs. The first one is these codes are also revised. It is indicated by the triangle. The first one is double nine three four seven. Home or residence visit for the evaluation and management of an established patient, which requires a medically appropriate history and or examination, and a straightforward MDF. And whenever time is considered for the code selection, 20 minutes must be met or exceeded. In order to code double nine three four seven, either straightforward MDM must be met, or whenever time is considered, 20 minutes must be met or exceeded. The next code is double nine three four eight. This is for home or residence visit for the evaluation and management of an established patient, which requires a medically appropriate history and or examination, and a low level of MDM. And a low level of MDM. In order to report double nine three four eight, we require low level of MDM. And whenever time is considered, thirty minutes must be met or exceeded. The next CPT is double nine three four nine. Home or residence visit for the evaluation and management of an established patient, which requires a medically appropriate history and or examination and a moderate level of medical decision making. And when using total time on the date of encounter for the code selection, 40 minutes must be met or exceeded. In order to code double nine three four nine, MDM must be moderate or 40 minutes must be met or exceeded. And finally, double nine three five zero, home or residence visit for the evaluation and management of an established patient, which requires a medically appropriate history and or examination and a high level of medical decision making. And when using total time on the date of encounter for the code selection, sixty minutes must be met or exceeded. In order to code double nine three five zero, either high complexity MDM must be Met or 60 minutes time must be met or exceeded. Now let us see an example. A physician makes a home care visit to the 63 year old hemiplegic patient who has been experiencing. Here the patient is in his own residence. Physician makes a home care visit to a 63 year old hemiplegic patient who has been experiencing experiencing insomnia for the last two weeks. The patient has been homebound for the last year and the last visit from this physician was four months ago. So the patient is an established patient and the service is being rendered at his residence. And physician four months ago to manage his diabetes and hypertension. And the physician performs an expanded problem focused examination and a moderate MDM. The physician speaks with the spouse about the possibility of placing the patient in a nursing facility. What CPT is to be reported in this scenario? Here, patient is having a home care visit at his residence and patient is established patient. And moderate MDM is performed by the physician. So the appropriate code is double nine three four nine. Home or residence visit for the evaluation and management of an established patient, which requires a medically appropriate history and or examination and a moderate level of medical decision making. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.